so yeah, we started out the day, and we you know we rented out a lift a truck with a lift gate. It was you know one of those big box trucks like a U-Haul, right? But with a lift gate, right? And we just started hitting up schools. Um, we took out about like I think four or five machines that day, and it's just super hard because you know the, the students are in session. You know, the school is going on. These are schools uh, that didn't want the machines anymore. They wanted yeah. to take them out. Yeah, but I and also he, did place machines that day too. And he was cool with helping you move them. Yeah. Okay. Which is super cool. He didn't have to do that at all, which is really cool. But I mean, dude, what would you have done if he wouldn't have helped you? You know what I mean? I know. I. I. Because that's know the what hardest. I that's probably like the hardest part of the business is moving the vending machines. Yeah, and he had like the dolly and everything. So. Right. I mean, I guess it was just meant to be. You know, all the everything literally lined up perfectly that's so beautiful beautiful okay so uh, tell us what else happened so you're moving some machines so yeah so we're moving machines you know we get through like two or three and you know this is my first time moving machines so right. uh, it's a lot of obstacles like you got to call janitors and stuff to take out like the the metal bars and move doors and you got to unscrew doors and stuff like absolutely insane stuff that i didn't even think of right and so we're going the first two or three schools go pretty smoothly and then we get to this one school and before we even went in, he was like, hey, like this school, like they hate me because he, he would never pick up their calls. Right. He would always dodge their calls, you know, because they wanted the machine out for so long because he would never right. fill it up. And so whenever we went, he was with me right next to me. And I was talking to the secretary, you know, introducing myself. And uh, she said, what's up to me? And then she just started like talking to me with him standing right there she was like yeah like this dude like he completely stood us up like <laughs> such a bad businessman this that i don't want to talk to him um the machines you know around the corner you guys you know get it out right like, all right you know was she gonna let cool. you put another machine on there or she just wanted she wanted that nah, one gone she was done with us okay um so we go around and it's this super narrow long hallway that you put the machine sideways and it like barely fits. Like you scrape the walls going by. Okay. I was like, crap. So we get it pushed out. We push it all the way down the hallway and then we get to this door. It's a steel door, a wooden door that you just open, you know, just like a normal, one of those big heavy school doors. Right. Um, and we go and it won't fit through. Like just going, it won't fit. So we had to get a, a drill and we had to undrill all the screws to take the door off. So it would right. fit. So we get the drill and we're going down. It's so many screws. It's like 20 screws. Right. It's insane. And I'm not even kidding. We literally get to the last screw, like not the second to last, like the last screw. Right. And it's stripped. Come on. It won't come out. It, it won't back in. It won't back out. So we can't take off the door. Like we we're sitting with it trying to get it out and it won't. Right. Whatever they use, it's good stuff. Like, but obviously the screw wasn't. So Dude, that's wild. Okay. So there. what would you end up having to do? So we were thinking some more. We put all the screws back. And then what we came to conclusion was we were going to open the vending machine door and kind of like, like pivot it through. Yeah. Pivot it around. And it actually worked. Like it was just enough to, to go through. Um, so we finally got it. We were getting it around. And then we pushed it actually to you know one last shove to get it around and there right. was a light switch over here in the corner and we pushed it and we busted the light switch <laughs> and i was like are you freaking kidding me so the light switch busted um we get the machine out and then we get it and we push it out down you know through the school and right. out to the double doors and we get to like the outside part and the janitor can't get the freaking the bar unlocked so we're sitting there for literally 10 minutes the janitor's trying to get it unlocked and the mm -hmm. secretary comes out because she's like wondering what's taking so long right. and she gets she's like heated you know did she it, find out that the that the light switch had gotten gotten broken no luckily she did not um <laughs> but she would have killed you yeah but she uh she grabbed the key and tried to do it and stuff and she was pissed off and then the other guy that i bought the route from he was like all right just let me see the key. And he did something and he popped out the bar and he got it out, thankfully. Right. So we push the machine out. We get the machine out. We load it up in the truck. And I'm like, oh, wait, I got to, you know, go return the badges to mm -hmm. the front desk. So I had to go walk back in and give the badges to, you know, the front desk. And they're like, 
wait a minute, stay right here. Don't go anywhere. They're like, one of the teachers said that the door won't close. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So I have to wait there. Right. And then the secretary comes out. And she, she said she's going to go look at the door. So she goes to look at the door and she says she thought it was the little like box on the top of the door. You know how whenever you, you close the door, like it kind of slows it down from slamming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That little box. She thought it was that that was messing up. Mm -hmm. But it was actually that screw. So it, it wouldn't like close. Uh, okay. And she actually didn't say anything about the light switch. Did she which, see it? Maybe she didn't see it. I don't know because the door is right here and the light switch is like right next to it. So right. I don't know. Okay. But I was like. So did you not get in trouble for the light switch being uh busted? Nope. No way. I, man, I saved their number like specifically for that reason. Because if I got a call from them, I knew. You know you were that. Answering. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I can't take that call. But I mean. <laughs> You got you got to think they got their own like maintenance crew, you know, right? You know they get paid to fix that kind of stuff, you know. Right, 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 right. Well, dang, dude. That Which I mean, good. it sucks. It's not good. Like, I feel terrible that it happened. Like, it was really bad. But right. I mean, but I mean, if the happened. other guy, the other guy, kind of got you in a bad situation, you know, with yeah, not killing it and everything, and everybody getting angry about it. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like for me. And also leave me something down in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified for my future videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss anything. If you'd like to watch this podcast in its entirety, there will be a link in the comment section and the description to the full version of the podcast.